Welcome to Comedy Corner. Comedy Corner. We're in a different corner today. There's a corner here. And this is my uh, guest. Her name is Carly Asquilanino. Is that right? Close, close. Well, Aquilino. What is it? Aquilino. Mm, it's Aquilino. It. Aquilino sounds better. It sounds a little more connected. Yeah, you know I feel saying? like I want to eat it. It sounds like pasta. Yeah, Asquilino. <laughs> she is a uh, well, the star of Girl Code. <laughs> Uh, apparently you were doing comedy for three and a half minutes <laughs> and then you blew up. How much, how much, how old are you? No, don't tell me. I'm how, you've been around for a while. How much? I've been, I'm 23. Okay, 23. Yeah. Fuck. People so tell young. me I look like I'm like so much older than that. So I'm No, you like... carry yourself older. Oh, okay. You look young. Oh, okay. Very young. All right. And, um. I can't even flirt that much because it's, I mean, it's, it's weird. It's <laughs> awkward. No, because I know people and I don't want to make it awkward. But anyway, <laughs> listen, you, you seem like, well, you're Italian, right? Yeah, hundred percent. Oh, first of all, she's going to be at Levity Live in uh, West Nyack with. Nyack with Jetsy Mae Peluso. Who didn't show up. Who did, she's on a flight. What does that mean? She's on, she's coming Private home from jet? LA. No, no, she's coming home from LA. Okay, so she didn't. She doesn't care about doing my show, Comedy Corner. She, <laughs> first of all, she probably loves Comedy Corner. I, I feel it. Okay, I feel it. Me We're and her one used to now. Be cool. We used she, to be real cool. She's cool. No, no, she's cool. Me and her used to be cool. Then she blew up, and I mean, a different kind of amnesia. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no. So no, just like, just like Carly Asquilino here. Who, when I walked in, she said, nice to meet you. First of all, and when then I said. we met before. I remember I met you at the Apple store, I said. We met at the What's Apple store. You were buying amnesia. a new phone. This girl code no, checks no, clubs no. are coming in, <laughs> make it rain, MTV money. I Not never MTV did one of your two. shows, though. Guy code, MTV2. Then they put girl code. Oh, no, that's MTV. I used to work at MTV. I know what that is. No, no, Amnesia. I I never did one of your shows though. I met you at the no. Apple Store. I met you at the Apple Store, and right. I remembered as soon as you said that, I said, "That's right, I met you at the Apple Store. You yeah. were buying a phone. I would like you to broke. do one of my shows. I'll do but it. You're too big now. I'll do it. Will you do it? I'll do whatever you want. This weekend is my birthday, but you're at Levity. I'm at Levity. Fuck. Happy birthday. Fucking shit. Thank you. Fucking shit. And it's Easter. Okay. Yeah. Are you Catholic? I'm Catholic, yeah. You have to be, right? Yeah. Legally. Um, <laughs> so you seem like a girl who has your wits about you. You used to do hair. Yes. Right? Yeah. So that means you you know how to read vibes. Right, Because exactly. if somebody comes in and you'd be like, oh, this lady's about to be a bitch. Or, oh, I like this lady. She's fun. Right, right. What is your vibe on your steady climb of success from other comedians? <laughs> Uh, from other comedians? Yeah, do you feel... What I'm saying is, do you feel the hate? Sometimes I could tell that, that people... And I completely understand, because there's people that grind for a really, really long time, long and I respect time. that years. 100%. I, I years. really do. Uh, for years and years and years. So, Do you I, feel when you walk away... They, I, don't, I don't know. See, I don't know that side of it. And people have always been nice to me, but right. sometimes You're I'm a sure... Hot chick. They're going to be nice, <laughs> extra nice to you already. So just accept that part. Right. They're going to be nice to you because of that. And then. And then when I walk away. So it's like, I think it's, <laughs> see, the thing with me is because it happened to me also and I didn't blow up as fast as you and I didn't blow up yet, mind you. Yes, you but did. But I'm saying, I started a different way than most comedians. Right. And when you walk away, you hear. Ps, 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 ps. Yeah. So the thing with you is you get a little more leeway because when you walk away, they stare at you for a little while. Like First they go, mm. <laughs> and, then, and then when you're out of earshot, they go, what the fuck, man? I've been doing this shit for 15 years. This chick comes on the scene. So I don't have the, I turn around, I don't get the, mm. You might get the, mm. Well, yeah, maybe from, um, uh, what's that kid? Tom Daly? Uh, Thomas Daly? Thomas Daly. <laughs> He's the only one that might be like, mm, I need the some only that people that mm, The only people that mm me, honestly, are construction workers. No. That, That's no, it. No, they mm, uh, loudly and Audibly. verbally. Yeah. yeah. Audibly. That's the yeah. only, that's Where, the only one There's a lot of people that mm you. <laughs> so, so, yeah, so how does that make you feel? Like, blown up? Because you, like... You went from doing comedy for how long? Six months. 
you get on girl code. Yeah. One of the funniest girls on there, which I heard, which Thank is you. what people say to me. Thank you. And that's great. Funny girl on the show because you have obviously a lot of personality and a lot of uh, opinions on things. Yeah. Which yeah. is girl, which is girl code. Right. But then girl code blows up. Yeah. So if you're doing good on a show and then that show blows up, you're fucking out of here. Yeah. Yeah. It, I, I understand that. I mean, it doesn't really if people do say things, which I'm sure people do and I understand and I'm not mad at it. But nobody's ever, I mean, I don't think anybody's ever, like, hated on me to my face no. where they're like, you don't deserve this and all that stuff. I mean, I did stand up for, like, six months, but once I got on Girl Code, like, I could write. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I was, whatever the topic was, I was like, all right, I'm going to write 20 jokes about this. I'm right. going to write 30 jokes about this because they give you a bunch of questions yeah. beforehand. So that's why I was able to get into it, and that's why I was able to be, like, poised on camera. You think your hair doing days helped you talk all that shit on girl code oh definitely has to help yeah you need like communication you talk, skills you probably talk like that in a hair salon all day all day all about day. the same topic yeah and i've heard every woman's problems i've yeah. heard from no matter what age they are listening about their boyfriend about their husband so You're it's like 23 now i'm 23 You've been popping for the last year. So you did hair when you were what, seven? I did hair when I was eight months old. I, <laughs> I, I did my first perm. <laughs> no, I started doing hair. I actually went while I was in high school. I went to beauty school wow. when I was like 15. And then I was working in salons from when I was 15 to when I was, you know, up until like eight months ago because I wouldn't quit my job. I refused. What? You I wouldn't on quit TV? my job. Yeah. Carly. I wouldn't quit. You were on TV and you stayed at the hair salon. Yeah. And, like, people were coming in, like, are you on TV? And I was like, yeah. Why wouldn't you quit? Because <laughs> I, I wanted, like, security. Because at first yeah. it's, like, the pay is, like, you know, like, yeah, with MTV, comes later. it comes, like, six months later. Yeah. And it was my first, the first season. So, because we already went through two seasons in right. a year. I don't even think a full year. I think we aired on April 23rd last year. So we already been through 40 episodes. Right. So the pay comes later. And it was the first season. So I was, like... You know, they sent me my contract. I was like, I'm signing it. And I just yeah. sent it right back. Right, so right. it wasn't in my best interest, you know? Yeah. So I was like, uh, all right, I'm working. You, uh, I'm answering phones. <laughs> wow. Because I didn't have a manager because I was so early in the game. Yeah. So I just signed over the contract so that was like 35 pages long. On your own, like just trying it out. Yeah. Like going, where would you start? Well, I took a class that, like, it doesn't teach you how to be funny. A it doesn't. What? A class at Gotham. A class. A class. A I took a class. class. Okay. <laughs> at Gotham, okay. At Gotham. And they like teach you how to be comfortable on stage I and know. like I took the class at Caroline's. Oh, you did? Yeah. It, it's so yeah. I, I understand what it is. Everything that they teach is good for someone who has never I've been on stage so many years. Right, right. Not telling jokes, but controlling a crowd yeah, of and course. DJing and so I was up there and I was like, uh, the only thing it forced me to write new jokes to have for class. Right. And that's right. what got my my ball rolling. Right. My ball rolling. Yeah, fine. <laughs> um, so you took a class. Took a class and then I was doing open mics and like bar shows and yeah. bringer shows and stuff like that. And then once Girl Code aired, I was able to work at the clubs and, and yeah. do all that stuff. So I was really lucky with that. Wow. And now you're headlining. Yeah, me and Jesse like co headlines. How does so that work? We switch it off. Like, how does it. So, like, we'll have a host. No, hold, hold on. Okay, sorry. What? Um, just saying you and Jesse switch it off sounds sexual. And I had to, <laughs> you had to process that, right? My cameraman, Bascombi, also we, felt that needed to be processed. We switch it off in more ways than one, okay. <laughs> depending on how much we drink. <laughs> We okay. switch it so, off. <laughs> so, so how does that work? There's somebody that opens up. Somebody that opens up will have like a host right. that opens for us. And then her and I, I'll close one show, she'll close the next show, uh, and, you know, vice versa. What so you feel that day? Yeah. You go first, and I'll do the next one. Yeah, we switch it off. Wow. <laughs> That's cool, man. That's really it's cool. It's cool. And it's good, to, it's good to work. I'm sure you know this. It's good to work in this industry with people that you like. Because sometimes you're on the road with somebody that you don't know, or yeah. it's just awkward, and it's oh, like, yeah. all right, to now go, I got to drive in the car with this person. With your friend, yeah, it's so good. Do, yeah, hell yeah. And then that you could go like, I dream of going on the road to do comedy, uh, but it's hard because I do this job every right. day, and it's like, weird. but um, 
Yeah, I could like like I went on the road once with Joe Coy for a weekend. Oh, cool! And he's really funny. It's super fun to hang yeah. out with all day. But I could imagine if you weren't with someone you like, yeah. you're just like in a weird town yeah and you're like stuck in the green room like yeah. so <laughs> just trying to make small talk yeah. so awkward and you're yeah. in the car together it's like oh man oh uh, that's good congratulations Thank who's you. the biggest bitch on girl con i actually don't know everybody mm. I, i've never had i think we're all like mm. you know what it is like i have my friends so okay. like the people that i'm closest with who's on the friends? show jesse nicole jesse, nessa nicole. jamie like and i'm friends with all the other girls too but I hang out with those four the most. So it's Nicole, like Nicole from, Byer. Okay. She's, she's a UCB improviser. Yeah. Yeah. Classic. She does stand up now too. She's really funny. Yeah. She's very funny. She says pussy a lot. She does. She, she does. Says, she's a fan of it. She, says, she likes that word. I don't think there's ever been a day that I've seen Nicole on stage and she hasn't said pussy um, <laughs> or some variation of the word. Okay. Fine. So the other girls, uh, I'm friendly with them too. I've never had a problem with anybody. Nobody. The 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 ones that I hang out with the most are like my closest yeah. friends. And then were you friends because we do stand up together. Were you friends with Jess? With I was uh, friends with Jesse before. You were before Girl Code, yeah. And then the other girls we just kind of see in passing because I don't do improv, so a lot right. of them are improv, you know, actors or mo actresses or models. The term is improviser. Improvisers. They're very improvisers. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> They're very so improvisers. Give me some. <laughs> uh, well, I'd say that she's gonna be at Levity Live uh, April seventeenth. You're there tonight. Tonight, April seventeenth, eighteenth, and nineteenth. Yes. Uh, on your birthday. Don't go see her because you'll be at my birthday bash at Caroline's on Broadway. You but go. You win. This weekend. What day? The Thursday, whole weekend. Friday, Saturday. Yeah. Wow. Damn. Yeah. So. The That's only the white girl point. I have is Drita from Mob Wives because all the oh, white cool. girls are at uh, Levity. <laughs> There's only three <laughs> white girls? <laughs> three white girls, that's it. <laughs> three um, Italian white girls, that's, that's really it. it. Drita's Albanian. Is she? Yeah. See, I don't know. Yeah, you can't, you can't call her Italian. I've seen Mob Wives a couple times. She's Albanian. Cool. She's, you know Drita? You know which one Drita is? I know who she is. Yeah, yeah. she's a skinny one. Yeah, skinny She's like rapping, she right? She's like a nice... Personality. Nice hands. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, she's a friend of mine. Um, so give me some advice. About what? Give me some girl code advice. Damn, girl code give me advice. Some girl, 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 how do I? I'm, sorry. I'm married. Let's pretend that's not real. I've always <laughs> had trouble. Real. Something I always wanted to be good at and I can't anymore. Those days are gone. But I just want to know your advice. Literally, how to walk up to a female, start a conversation and how men would say, bag that bitch. Okay. I'm trying to think how to bag that bitch. Don't be creepy, number one. Okay, what's creepy? Creepy is like lurking behind someone and like staring at them. Okay. Because then before you even talk, I'm going to be like, this guy's going to skin me. Like, I don't okay. want to be around him so, right now. I don't like, feel comfortable. I'm mean, leaving. Like, if, it, like if we're face to face, kind of. Like, you're across the bar. Don't just be, just don't just stare. You could smile. You could get her a drink. I never. I know people are like, don't take the drinks from strangers, and I'm like, yeah. you could probably do that. Well, you order the drink in front of her. So order comes the, the drink in front of her. Exactly. What are you drinking? I'll get you another one. Whatever. Do okay. that. That's an easy way to See, do I it. See, I don't drink, so I that oh. just I could do that. But it doesn't even come to mind because I don't drink. See, it's different because I've had guys like do all different tactics. Like I've had guys be like, hey, how are you? And I'm like, what? And they're like, oh my god, I thought you were my friend. What's your name? So Dude, that's like that's a cool. that's smooth. Yeah. When that happened to me, I was like, "Oh, okay, cool." Right. And I ended up going on a date with this guy. I left him at the restaurant, but whatever, not a big deal. Oh, let's. So mark that down. I don't <laughs> hear about that. he was a jerk in real life, but that was a smooth transition. Right. Um, you could comment on like what she's wearing, but don't be like, "Oh, my girlfriend has that same shirt." No, okay. <laughs> my wife that. has that same shirt. <laughs> um, comment on what she's wearing because girls like. Girls like compliments, of course. That's why they go out. That's why they get dressed up to go out. Be like, hey, nice shoes. Right. I'm and I bag do this actually bitch. like that kind of stuff. Yeah. Like, I know about girls' shoes and bags and fashion stuff. Yeah. So, so that's, that's good. easy. Because some guys, like, like I, I, well, I told one dude once, I was like, uh, I can't even fuck with that girl. I don't, her shoes are nasty. Oh, no. What were they? Some Crocs? No, some, like, <laughs> some big, doofy old lady heels oh hell no and then he said dude 
I didn't even know women had feet. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of a cool like answer though. But I mine gotta be proper. So okay, so I know about that stuff. What else? Don't don't be a creep. Be I think so, the Okay. I think just have a personality and be cool. If that really is like a big part of it. What's don't, the worst thing that what what's a a way not to get you like don't let her know that you're just trying to bag that bitch don't let her know that. don't let her know that why not because she's gonna be like oh i'm not that kind of girl no matter what she probably is but if she's like she girls don't want to go out and have people look at them like they're the one night stand girl you know what i'm saying i I at least want to think that you're in love with me even talking even bagging a bitch doesn't mean it means just getting the phone number i'm not talking about one night stands. i'm not good at one night stands I know I suck at that shit. <laughs> I would hope so. Every girl I've ever been with, even if it's like casual, has like yeah, I've been fallen, around more than once. No, has like fallen for me. Oh, look at you. Yeah, because I'm too nice. Yeah, I'm too nice. Yeah, but and you have a good personality. Uh, you have a good personality. Now I do after therapy and <laughs> juicing. Um, <laughs> before I used to be super shy, uh, but yes, I don't see. That's my thing. I could never. I need advice. This is the old me. This is living in my dreams. I'm not not now. <laughs> Once I get her or get into a conversation, then my personality shines. And I'm fine. Right. And I've had really good relationships and made a lot of friends of girls who wanted to be in a relationship and I couldn't. Right. And girls love me. Right. It's the initial at the club yeah, or bar. That awkward initial, thing. I need that. What's that thing? Uh, I What's, think I think just be be cool. Just be cool. Go up, talk to her, every, say but, whatever you want to do. Because like you you would think that every guy does that, but that's yes. not true. Most guys just put their boner on your leg and they're like, "Hey, <laughs> it's like, well, can you wow. get that thing away from me?" You put it right on. <laughs> I there, didn't huh? sign up for this. It's not because wow. that's dancing now. That's why I don't go to clubs. Too many really? boners flying around. It's a lot of boners. So many it. boners. What's all, all these boners <laughs> flying around, man? That's why I can't go to clubs. But I feel like <laughs> it's every guy just hit on you. What am I, what's my going to be? What's my different thing? If you're cool, you'll get it in. Get it in. You'll get in. You'll get the okay. number. You'll get whatever. Okay. Because every other guy is usually creepy. Really? Like there's usually one guy that you're like, oh, you're, you're normal. All right. What happened with your date? With, oh, with that date? Yeah. This was like years ago. So he walked up to you and said, "Walked up to me and said, hey, oh my God, how are you doing? How's NYU?'" And I was like, "It's Ooh, not probably good, but I've never been there." Yeah, he like totally like put it in. So I was like, "Oh no, I don't think." And he's like, "Oh my God, I thought you were my friend." Blah blah blah. And I'm like, "You don't know what your friends look like? That's weird." So, but then he's like, "Oh, can I have your number? Mm. Exchange numbers." And then he takes me out on a date, and he was just such a jerk. Well, how long after? You met him. How long did he call you the next day? He texted me. He did. He called me the next day. He texted me that night being like, mm-hmm. oh, I got your, you know, save my number mm-hmm. or whatever. Lock me in. Lock me in. And then we, and then he called me the next day. And then you went out how much after? Probably the next weekend or something. Okay. A few day, maybe a few days later. I don't where, know. Where was this? Back in Long Island? No, this was in the city. Okay. This was a few years ago. And then where'd you go? We went to get we went to this mexican place i don't remember what it was but we got like Fancy margaritas mexican and stuff nasty mexican it wasn't nasty like, but it wasn't like uh, like um was it uh, i don't know how fancy or something not, no not that okay, fancy not that fancy all right that's like the fanciest mexican ever yeah. but <laughs> we went to like a regular mexican place and he was just such a jerk and i left i was like i gotta go how's he a jerk he was talking about money and like how much money he, he had. He was so gross. I don't even know what he did. He did some, I. But then I also Googled him and he was in jail. And I was like, all right, this is really? awesome. Yeah. Before you went out. No, this was like while he was sitting there talking. So I'm like, this guy definitely. He didn't tell me what he did. Like he was like, yeah, you know, like I just have all this money. And I was like, all right, cool. And I'm like Googling him. I'm like, he's definitely been to jail. And he did. And I was like, all it right. It says that? Yeah. Like I found like it, like there was like a news report on him for like uh, <laughs> fraud, for fraud. I'm like, oh, no wonder why this guy has money. But also like, I don't like that. Even if you're like a lawyer or something like, was he older don't than talk you? about money. He was, I think a couple years older than me at the time. Yeah. And so he's just a jerk the whole day. Like yeah, a jerk, he was like a jerk. he's mean? No, he was just like tacky. Tacky. He was tacky. Tacky is rough. Ugh, no, I didn't like it. I didn't like and it at all. And you walked out. I was like, I gotta go. Yeah. Dinner was finished, or 
Uh, no, I don't think so. No. I was finished. You walked out, <laughs> Dinner wasn't Carly? finished, but I was finished. I told him I had to go. I didn't just, like, get up and leave. But I was like, I gotta go. Like, sorry. Because <laughs> it was so awkward. It was so uncomfortable. And I was just like, I can't be wow. here. Why That's are you going to put yourself balls, through though. that? But no? why are you going to put yourself through that? A bad date? Wow. But most girls finish the date and then don't call back or whatever. No, I'd rather be real with him instead of being like, all right, I'll call you later. So did you say this date sucks? No, I was just like, I have to go. <laughs> and he was like, why? And I was like, I just have to. And I, I just walked out? Yeah. I was like, thank you. I wasn't being mean about it, but I was like, hey, I can't be around mean? this guy. Thank you for ruining my Did whole he night. He had to because I left. <laughs> 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 he had all that money, so <laughs> he could pay. <laughs> oh, wow. What? No, I was coughing and I looked down and see a very big Louis bag. Oh, you coughed on my Louis? No, I'm just noticing how, because that's the expensive one. Wow, life is good for Carly Esquilino. <laughs> Esquilino. Um, <laughs> listen, she's at Levity Live all weekend long with Jesse May Palooza Uh <laughs> They are very funny. Go check them out. West Nyack. It's in the mall. So you could go to Target, pick Palisades. up some, pick up some, uh, some things from Target, and then walk over to Let Me Live. Uh, <laughs> all right, one more piece of advice: um, How do you get rid of stalker chicks? Come on, you got to change your number. No, you got to change your number. If if girls okay, are what, really stalking you, I mean, I, no, I okay, think not stalking. Let me. I'm so, gonna give you a, okay. an example. No, sorry, finish what you're saying, and then I'll is she you just calling you a lot, or is she like following you? What about a girl that you've had relations with? Okay, very Bill Clinton of you. Okay, you've had relations. <laughs> and it's cool, but it's not relationship material. Okay, so she's a booty call. And is that a booty call? Yeah. If she's not relationship material, but you're still doing it. You can't be, what about friends with Benny's? That's not real. Friends with Benny's is friends not real? Friends with Benny's isn't real. What do you mean not real? Because it's not a real thing. Because you're not really friends. Mm, I disagree. I don't know. I've been friends and had But relations. really liked the person as a friend. Yes. I don't know about that. Yeah. So you're saying friends with Benny's is just a term. For a booty for call. booty call to make yeah. girls not feel offended. Yeah. No, nah, I've been friends. All right. I've been friends. I haven't. Maybe, yeah, but maybe they want more though. It's true. One of the one somebody always gets hurt if it's that kind of true. situation where the girl really likes you and she's like, "I'm gonna be super cool and be his best be friend, friend," and then he's gonna and, fall in love with me, and then see, you're like, "Oh yeah. my god, she's my friend, and I can have sex with her." It's she not might real. Be right. <laughs> I'm she telling might you, it's not. Right. It's it's one of the two. Because if if a girl's like that with a guy, and he, I mean, guys wouldn't keep it going for as long if a girl was like, "Yeah, you know, we're not." Yeah. really a thing if the guy really likes her he'll keep doing it but somebody wants somebody more somebody's gonna get hurt for sure fuck you're smart I'm a pro smart. <laughs> um alright so uh you have relations right um and then the With girl calling. keeps calling and texting right sometimes hi I miss you what's going on okay and then other times why the fuck what is this? Why are we doing this? Mm. I'm pissed off. Yeah. And it literally is like schizophrenic. Right. How do you deal with something like that? You got to cut it off. Just you could either do two things. One, ignore her, but mm -hmm. that might make her more crazy. Right. Because I know if a guy ignores me, I will flip out. Mm -hmm. I will flip out. I think just be honest. It hurts and it sucks, but just be like, hey, listen, I wanted this, but it didn't turn out right. And and I thought we were just friends. Uh, and it's been done. All that. That's been done? And then it's no... You gotta change a number. No talking for a while, and then later, like, a random... Hey, what is this? Oh, that's the worst question no, like, to ask, too. Like, hey, what's up? I haven't spoke to you in a while. You're like, oh, cool. We have a little convo. Yeah. And then right down the dark hole again. I miss you. When can we hang out? And all that stuff. So just change just number. Cha either change number or just ignore her. Just go and ignore yeah. her. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's, that's hard. I mean, if somebody's like, first of all, as a girl, and even as a guy, I'm sure, the worst question to do is, what is this? Because you're trying to define a relationship. You're yeah. trying to be like, oh, if you don't hook up with someone, I'm not going to hook up with someone. It's like, relax, okay? Everybody calm down. 
What um? Why is there? Why is? Why do women always want that title? I don't want that title. You don't want a title? No, no. I don't think. I I think some girls do, but I think it's popping. So, <laughs> what? Talk about it. No, you're young and you're popping. You're on the road. You're making money, buying Louis bags, <laughs> buying Apple computers and shit. You don't want a title. You don't. I feel like you don't need a title. I feel like girls that are insisting of a title. Yeah, of course, if you're if you really like someone and you guys should be committed to each other. But I don't think it needs to be. This is my boyfriend because I think a lot of girls just rush into that and mm-hmm. it's like you don't even know each other yet. Because if you do that before the honeymoon phase, before the honeymoon phase is over, there's no point. Because you don't know that person and you're just rushing. I'm going to see you every day. I can't get enough of him and all that stuff. And then you're like, oh, next thing you know, we move in together and he shits his pants every once in a while. You don't know what he does. Every once in a while. Just a little little, crapola. Yeah, a little crapola. You need to know that before you make someone your (laughs) You need to be okay with that. You need to be okay. You need to know all the good and the bad about him. You can't just be like, honeymoon phase, he's perfect. What's your dating situation now? How do you date being on TV? With crazy, bright red, red hair. hair. Um, I kind of just, I mean, I'm not dating a bunch of people, but if someone asks me out, you go you know, on dates. Yeah. You go on dates. Yeah. Who, Which is weird has the because the caliber it was a, of men gone up. Yes and no. Like I'm not like, oh, I only want this kind right. of person that makes this much money because yeah. that stuff not doesn't they matter want to me. It, yeah. But, the, but it has gone. You get. Rec- you get okay. Do you ever has anyone asked you to go on dates that recognize you first? Yes. And yeah. How does that feel? It's cool. It's definitely cool. But then again, like I like have exchanged numbers with like bouncers or you know people mm. that work at the comedy club, you know stuff like that. So mm. it's like I'm not really picky. Very interesting. <laughs> Why? Very interesting. Why? I'm just I, fascinated I, by your life. It's just weird because the the difference in like going out on dates and not because I used to just hang out with people like date people and whatever. But now it's like it, that has changed because now if a guy's like, oh, just come over and sit on my couch. Meanwhile, three years ago, I would have been like, that's a date. Now I'm like, no, no, no. I'm not sitting oh, on your really? couch with you. Why not? Because it's the first time we're hanging out and I'm going to oh, go sit on time. your smelly couch in first your disgusting time, house. I understand first time. Yeah, first time. Would you do that, though? Would I? Yeah, of course. Would you go hang out at your some guy's house, fourth date, fourth watch date, movies Third date, yeah. Okay. Let's watch movies. We'll eat whatever, order pizza. But the first date, I'm not sitting on your disgusting, I'm picturing like the grossest couch ever. Your gross man couch and so your like bachelor gross, pad. A lot of gross men hit on you. Okay. It's all the construction workers. <laughs> That's a good job. I'm it not depends. mad at it. They're working on the World Trade Center. That's a lot of money. Yeah, for sure. Um. All right. I think we've learned a lot. Uh. What's your uh? What's your future looking like? What's your deal? I'm just trying to keep it moving. I'm gonna keep working and and keep working. Yeah. I want to do more stand up and I want to travel a lot more. I mean, I travel a lot now, but I want to How much? Go, Every ooh, weekend? I'm sorry. Could you not break our Dre headphones? Even I'm though sorry. you could just buy us more. <laughs> you see that Louis Stop. bag? Uh, these are expensive headphones. I know they are. I'm not trying to break them. What, um, how, you travel like every weekend? I travel actually a few times a week. Because usually we'll have to travel on the weekends, but during the week I do colleges, so it'll really? be like the middle of like nowhere in Missouri or the middle of nowhere, you know, in Ohio or go. something like that. You Come with DJ? us. Come with us. I'm no, I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious too. I like going on the road. I like that kind you of. You like stuff. colleges though, because it's like always like a How? six hour travel day for yeah. like one night, and then you got to go back. It's it's yeah. fun and it's cool and it's, it's easy. Hard though, like right? it's. It's easy and it's fun for the night, but it is draining. Right. What's a college gig like? A college gig. I heard they're kind of weird sometimes. Sometimes they're weird depending on what college you go to. Like if yeah. it's like a private school where the kids are like really, really smart and nerdy and they don't really want to go to this thing. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's just something to do because they live in the middle of nowhere. Right. Exactly. Sometimes they're like that, but a lot of times it's like if it's a party school, it's so much fun because yeah. the kid, the girls will tweet me, haha, I'm drunk, like at the show. I'm yeah. like, oh my God, it's like so funny because I never went to college, so I'm like yeah, yeah, living yeah. through them in a way. But is it like in a, you're in like an auditorium or? Sometimes you're in like a theater or in like the ballroom that they'll have in the school. Yeah. 
and, or like an auditorium or something, which is it, it's cool. It's, it's definitely you and cool. Jesse. Me and Jesse. I go on the road with a lot of people with oh. colleges, but a lot of times it's me and Jesse. Yeah, but Sounds they fun. like switch them out. It's fun. Sounds fun. Look at your life. What is your life? <laughs> Um, well, anyway, <laughs> fuck all that. Fuck colleges. <laughs> fuck everywhere on the road. It's about Levity Live this weekend. Uh, Jesse May Peluso and <clears throat> fuck. It's all that juice. The juice is making you sick. Too much juice. It's too much juice. Too much vegetables in my eat. life lately. Jesse May Peluso and Carly Aquilino. Yes. See, I said it right. Uh, Levity Live, West Nyack, Palisades Mall. Go check them out. Um, Check them out and then quickly drive to the city and come to my shows at Caroline's on Broadway. 100%. What do you mean 100%? 100% I'm Puerto do Rican? that. 100% Puerto Rican? Oh, but are you saying that because I'm Puerto Rican, the <laughs> no. big pun song? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying 100% Did go just do get that and then come the back. End? It didn't get racist. How is 100%? Everything's racist. You never heard that song, 100%? No, I don't like rap music. Oh, cut. All right. Goodbye. Did the sirens just go Bye. off? Bye. The fire alarm. The fire. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like rap music. I don't.